Um, hello everybody, this is Darlie and this is Christine. She's our OT uh, in our clinic. Now we're gonna talk about whole body stretching. I've divided this into three parts. So the first, this is a myofascial stretching. So every stretch has to be held for a minimum of two minutes. So we're gonna start with the lower body and then go up to the towards the neck, okay? So the first exercise, I love this strap. I wanna talk about this strap. It's got different loops in it. And for doing a stretch, this comes very, very handy. And then it's got a little piece that goes on the foot so it doesn't cut your foot. So for the first one that you're gonna do is you're gonna hold, put the, uh, and I'm gonna do it with you so you can do it with me. I'm gonna keep the time for two minutes, okay? So you hold it and you lift your leg and you're gonna move it and you, you're gonna feel stretch on your hamstrings. When you want to feel more stretch on the hamstrings, you have to keep this portion in the middle of the foot. But if you also want calf involvement, I would like to put it on the ball of your feet. And I think when I'm doing this, I like to do both calf as well as the hamstring. So this is a good position for me to hold. So I'm gonna put the timer for two minutes and you're just gonna breathe and make sure that every exhale, you let go of the tightness in your hamstrings and your calves. Try to keep this straight, okay? So breathe in and exhale. Feel the softness happening in your calf and in your hamstrings. So I'm gonna, I have the timer on, so you could be doing this with us. This is gonna stretch your hamstrings, calf, and even the plantar fascia of the foot. So many people that have plantar fasciitis, this works really, really good. And holding it for two to three minutes is a good amount to actually release the fascia. And I'll have some music so that it's comfortable to and relaxing to have the music on. These series of exercises are really, really good for anything, any kind of pain throughout the body. So it has, it will stretch all the major group of muscles. Almost there, 30 more seconds. which you're gonna go off to the side like that. One thing I want to mention it, that instead of holding it like that, like how she's doing it, you can actually put your hand through it and you, you don't have to grip your fingers because many of our patients have a hard time holding onto the strap for that long because all of these stretches take a long time. So if you put your hand through here, you don't even have to grip it. You could even do it like that and that's good enough. So this is a really, really great stretch for ITB. Anybody that has got like hip bursitis or uh, pain on the, uh, on the side, lateral side of the knee, these are great stretches because it stretches the whole of the ITB. And ITB is supposed to end here, but the fascial fibers go all the way to the foot. And so this is a great stretch to do for those. Cannot emphasize how important the stretch is for a hip bursitis patient. You can feel it. <laughs> yeah, and two minutes. If you think that two minutes is too long for you, you could do it for one minute, but your goal is to at least make it for two minutes. So the fascia uh, releases as well. So 
So build it up. So start with one minute and then go up to two minutes. Thirty seconds again. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Almost. you to go all the way out to the side now when you're doing this you're going to feel a gentle stretch in your inner thigh and that's what we're trying to stretch when you're doing this stretch make sure that the hip stays on the mat but your legs are going out to the side so you're going to go till you feel a gentle stretch you do not have to stretch it too much you just have to feel a gentle stretch and then hold it for two minutes and that's what is going to make the difference as time goes as, as as it's 30 seconds and then one minute you're going to notice that uh, the uh, inner thighs actually relax and will start to loosen on its own and when it does that all you do is you take up the slack and you allow it to go down and you never force the tissue you never ever force the tissue you just wait at the barrier and hold it and then it will soften keep breathing as you exhale soften the tightness that you feel in your body so just go ahead and soften it allow that tightness to just melt away and then you're going to notice that if you consciously do that then you're actually softening that muscle and stretching it almost there 17 seconds and I know if you're doing this for the first time two minutes would be a long time for you so start with one minute and then go ahead and increase it to two minutes. All right, now bring it back up. Now you're gonna repeat, bring it all the way down slowly. Whenever you stretch and, and you're stretching for two minutes, you gotta bring it down very slowly so that uh, they can, so that you don't experience any cramping or spasms. Now we're going to do this left leg and I'm going to hold it just like the same way. I'm going to put it at the ball of the feet and you can put your hand through this and just hold it there and keep your knees straight as much as you can. Don't force it. Breathe and soften as you exhale. Feel where the tightness is and bring your breath to that. So bring your attention to that and consciously let go. So if you know where the tightness is, either in your hamstrings or in your calf, if you bring your attention to that tightness and every exhale you tell yourself, I'm letting go, it actually lets go and then you're able to stretch a little bit more. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> yes. If your arms are getting tired, you should use your forearm to hold it because then um, you're not hurting your joints of your fingers. There you go. And then you can just hold it like that. Perfect. So much easier. And it's it's a surrendering pose, as they call it. You just surrender. You don't hold on to it. So that's a good pose. Okay, 17 seconds again. I hope you 
you guys would do all of these stretches that we are gonna that we're taping all for your benefit okay now go ahead and go well let's do the ITV and this would stretch this whole outer thigh area so I'm going to tell you exactly what muscles we are working on so you know if you some patients may not to, not need to do everything they may choose what they want to do and choose pick and choose what they think that they need the most and just do that soften your legs will start to go down that way but your hips are going to remain on the on the mat you feel it you need it <laughs> we all need it <laughs> if you feel it it's because you need it timer because then you don't have to guess that you have held two minutes or not do you feel a stretch over here okay if you don't feel a stretch then you need to hold on to this with the fingers and you might have to go down either lower okay there you go do you feel it more okay just a little bit of stretch is all I need and then hold and breathe and let go and every time you do the stretches, you have to remember it's you have to learn to let go. Because if you're forcing something, you're really not stretching. You might be hurting your tissue. So make sure you're breathing and you're learning to let go rather than force a stretch. Because if you let go, the stretch is going to happen automatically, slowly but surely. But that's the best way to do it. too long I'm gonna cut it in parts so that you can do the lower body then you can do the trunk the abdominal and the back and then you can do the arms and in that way arms and the neck and that way you cover your whole body great way to stretch come back to the center slowly and then slowly lower it down and this is the first part of the whole body stretches 